Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we'll be having a quick look at this MIT integration B past problem here. So it's the integral of one of the square root of x plus the cube root of x dx. Okay, so this is a rather fun problem and there's a few different ways that you can tackle this. But the way that I'm gonna go about doing this today is through, first of all, making a quick substitution. So since we've got the square root of x over here and the cube root of x over here, well, maybe I want to get this into something where we'll have integer powers. So the best way for me to do that is I can say, let x equal to u to the power of 6. So now if I set u to the power of 6 equal to x, then what we see this problem now becomes is the integral of 1 over u cubed plus u squared now let's think about dx. So what I can do here is I can say dx du is gonna be equal to, well, that's pretty straightforward, six u to the power of five. And so now instead of writing dx, I can just rewrite that as six u to the five du, since all we're doing there is just bringing that du up to the right-hand side of that dx du. Okay, fantastic. So now that we've got our problem written out like this, a couple of things we can do here. Firstly, we see that we can take that factor of 6 out the front, and so we can rewrite the problem as 6 times the integral of u to the 5 over u cubed plus u squared du. And hopefully you can see here that we can also eliminate a factor of u squared from every single term here. It becomes 6 times the integral of u cubed over u plus 1 du. Okay, fantastic. So now, when we get to this point here, you might be tempted to start thinking, hmm, maybe we'll be using trigonometric substitutions or logarithmic or some sort of function like that to try and simplify this. But we're actually going to go for a much more of a basic approach here to really make sure that we understand our basics. So what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to do the long division. So what is u cubed divided by u plus 1? Let's have a quick think about that. So polynomial long division. So what we'll do is we wanna make sure that we're eliminating the term as we go across. So to get a u cubed, I would need to have a u squared up here. So that means I can now put u squared times u, that would become u cubed. u squared times positive one is plus u squared. Now that negative sign will end up allowing us to get rid of those two. We'll have minus u squared here. Okay, so now we've got minus u squared. How many times does u go into that? That would be minus u times. Okay, so now we'll do pretty much the exact same procedure. So minus u times by u is minus u squared. Minus u times positive 1 is minus u. And so now since we have that negative there, we know that will cancel out with that. And we'll end up having just a plus u being brought down there now. So how many times does u go into u? Well, that's an easy one, just one times. So now one times u, that will end up giving us just u, and one times one, just a plus one. And so now we end up with this minus one term on the end there. And that's gonna be our remainder. So I might just write on the side here that r, the remainder, is gonna be equal to minus one over u plus one. Okay, so what that's going to allow us to do now is it's going to allow us to rewrite u cubed over u plus 1 as this polynomial here, this quadratic, plus this remainder over here. Okay, so let's get right into that now. So now our problem will become 6 outside the integral of u squared minus u plus 1 minus 1 over u plus 1 du. Okay, and let's just double check that we've got, that's our quadratic factor that we've already seen, and this is our remainder. Excellent. Okay, so we've got that. I might just quickly neaten up and get rid of that long division there, so that way we've got a little bit more space to work with here. Okay, so now all we need to do is just simply integrate this, and then we are almost there. So let's see what happens next. So we'll then have six outside the brackets of integral u squared, that becomes u cubed on three, then minus u squared on two, then plus u. And now for this one, it will end up becoming a logarithmic function. 
So we'll say minus the natural logarithm of u plus 1. And then, of course, we cannot forget to say plus c. Okay, so now two more steps real quick. So quickly, we'll bring that factor of 6 inside and expand that out. So then we'll end up with 2u cubed minus 3u squared plus 6u minus 6 times the natural log of u plus 1 plus c. So now our last step is to remember that we had initially written that x is equal to u to the power of 6. So what that means now is I can rewrite this where u is equal to the sixth root of x. Okay, so let's start doing that now. So if u is equal to the sixth root of x, let's see what happens here. So this would then become, for our final answer, we would now have 2 square root x minus 3 cube root x plus 6 times the sixth root of x minus 6 natural log of the sixth root of x plus 1 plus c, some constant term there. And that's it. Okay, fantastic. And so that is equal to the integral of 1 over the square root of x plus the cube root of x dx. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I really do appreciate it. And as always, stay curious.